Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Solo Experience. This time bringing my black mage into the PvE nightmare that is the Fields of Glory, in one of those rare instances where teams actually take fights, earning a respectable 11 kills to 1.3 million damage. For those of you who are waiting on the next advanced PvP guide, those are on hold until the release of Dawn Trail. Less than a month away, there would be no point as they would be outdated before too long. Thank you all for your continued support. Enjoy today's video, have a great week, and I shall see you all in the next one. Diving right into the action, I drop half asleep onto the Red Mage out of position. This would force out an early Purify, guaranteeing a kill, and with the Adders running multiple Dark Knights, I made sure to use Burst for that extra shield. This allows me to stay in close while avoiding unnecessary damage, and in doing so, I can keep the pressure on. I choose the Fire Rotation here for the Dancer, as they have great movement, a weakened Dancer has more chance of dying to tick damage, rather than using Freeze. Shortly after, my attention can switch to the Samurai. He pumps Cheaten as a scare tactic. This early into the match, there is zero chance he has a Limit Break, and is quickly forced to retreat. I hang close to the Crystal waiting for my Limit Break to finish, resulting in my first kill on a Dark Knight, a job you do not want getting a level 5 battle high. And as a Black Mage, you are amazing at keeping them under control. With control over mid, we were off to a great start. The Maelstrom currently lead, however they are off at another objective, uncontested. Whereas my team have claimed kills towards their battle highs, which plays the most impact in the late game. With the opening battle dialing down, the Adders rotate to the north, while my team rotate to the southeast. I hang around a while longer, giving chase to their bard. With some well-placed freeze, we almost claim the kill. Looking at my minimap, however, I saw the Maelstrom moving in. That was my cue to dip. There is not much to achieve right now with this small group, so I rotate to join at the objective. The sooner it is destroyed, the sooner we can get back to the action. Encountering a solo Astrologian along the way, Again, I do not greed for the kill, as the Maelstrom are much more concerned about us in second place, and are currently heading my team's way. Not bad timing, as my Limit Break just came off cooldown. As the Maelstrom rush in, I use my Limit Break while backing up. Always assume a Dark Knight will come rushing in, and falling back mitigates their maximum potential. I do target switch a lot. I go for those who dive in alone, such as this Dragoon. However, my main focus are squishy targets, range jobs and healers. I want to use my powerful burst and range capabilities to shut down theirs, greatly reducing their overall push. This allows your own melee to get in close, having a much easier time. Keep track of my movement. I constantly do this back and forth. You step in for your attack, then you move back avoiding far ranged players and from being snagged by potential warriors. I see the opening for a nice burst on a small pile. I felt safe to do so as there was almost no attention upon myself. And while this fight may look even, notice how the Maelstrom are beginning to fumble. Their aggression has stopped, and they are piling up, losing control of their positioning. This is most likely due to the amount of damage heading their way. That moment my Dragoon went in with Limit Break was the full turning point. They are weak and low on resources. That right there is the full send it indicator. My team rally running the Maelstrom down who get pinched by the Anders from behind. In doing so, I earn myself a battle high too, with many of my team close behind. The push does not end. As we rotate out, we push mid, burning through those who tunnel vision on the big shiny rock. I again use Limit Break to help secure easy kills, just as the remaining Adders flood in to help. I keep up the pressure on those gathered around the big shiny, with my powerful AoE damage, keeping distance, and only getting in close once burst is ready. This is where the battle highs really begin to show. The Adders have hardly any to speak of, with their lack of coordination and willingness to fight. The extra damage my team now has allows us to just steamroll right through. Again, I am not greeting. I simply go from target to target, applying pressure and high damage to the point I know we can claim the kill. Skyrocketing our team's score to 700 and myself into a battle high 4. And once again, the momentum is not over. The Anders are weak, split and respawning. There is no reason not to engage the North. We storm in with many unsuspecting, and those who retaliate can do very little against our overwhelming power.
As things kick off, I use my limit break. Always use this before engaging. You have 30 seconds, which is insane, and you also begin charging your next limit break, which will often come into play in long, drawn-out teamfights. The initial push burned through those caught off guard, with myself still aiming for their back row. The more I try to keep them under control, the less they can focus my allies. I fall back just as they begin to gain some ground. In a short-winded push, as they begin retreating back to their ramp, this is exactly the kind of piling up a black mage looks for, jumping myself into a battle high five. Now I am at my most confident. 50% more damage and healing. This is where I push the boundaries of what a black mage is capable of, taking much bolder plays that would not work with no battle high. In doing so, we went up another 300 score, and just as I mentioned about drawn out battles, my second limit break was ready, allowing me to free spam in aid of my team's retreat, hanging around only as long as it was safe to do so, only abandoning those who were too stubborn to leave sooner. I did my part, and honestly a battle high 5 is far more important than keeping a dancer and a warrior alive. Rotating out to mid, you can see the maelstrom are catching up. However, once again, this is due only to objectives. I could not yet engage as the adders began to rage push, and we do what every team should. Deal with the threat at hand first. I will leave the voice over here to allow you to enjoy these final few minutes. Let me know down below how you have been enjoying Black Mage in Frontline. Thank you all for watching, and I should be back to a more regular schedule very soon. Enjoy the remainder of this match, and I will see you all in the next one.